we go to day 36 on February 16th, we are in big trouble and it simply cannot happen. Aviation, maybe more than any other industry, is totally integrated with government function. So we cannot do our work without federal workers on the job and all the support that they need to do their jobs. In the shutdown, you had men and women coming to work, were worried about how they're going to pay their mortgages, right? How they're going to put food on the table for their kids. They're, they're working under a lot of stress, which obviously is concerned the flight attendants, yeah? We were extremely concerned that you have people in safety sensitive positions, whether it's air traffic controllers or transportation security officers who are worried about their families and not able to focus on what they need to do at work. Your concern is that with these distractions, emotional distractions, literally worrying about day-to-day -day needs for their families, they're not going to have that ability to focus on keeping our planes safe. All of the work that happens behind the scenes, those people, 40% of them, were furloughed. More than 15,000 Federal Aviation Administration employees have been furloughed, a third of the FAA's workforce. This includes more than 3,000 air safety inspectors who are not reporting to work. They took out 40% of the cybersecurity unit at DHS, so there were not people supporting the work of doing that very critical work to keep our nation safe. So they were not getting the intelligence briefings that they normally get every day. They were not getting integrated reports reporting systems where we could share information across the country and piece together potentially very harmful situations. None of that was happening. Flight attendants and pilots and other aviation workers are already very concerned. They're concerned that we are less safe, we are less secure during this shutdown, and that continues to exacerbate every single day. Because we're not working, the system is going to start to break down. But they're also very aware that when you start to unravel the system, the planes stop flying. And that means our jobs too. Two million people were affected directly by this shutdown. But we know that we are the next to lose our jobs. We're the next on the line here. And then our communities don't get the goods and services that they need and our economy shuts down. We think it's important that people understand the important work that federal workers do because we count on it. If they can't do their job, we can't do ours.